Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room, where today we're going to take a look at uh, Spring Sound. Spring Sound is um, a new synthesizer. It's a bigger brother of another another app that's similar to this, but this is, it sounds, um, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Uh, just hang on a sec. It sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, and it's audio bus compatible and inter-app audio compatible. Uh, except at the moment it does not work with audio bus either in the effect slot or the input but it does work um, uh, with with interrap at the moment so it's just a matter of a, a fix from the developer but if you've got a, a hackam continuum which <laughs> is unlikely because they're very very expensive but it's a like a brilliant keyboard if you if you if you uh, google continuum you can see it in action this will work with that as well so it's kind of been designed to to work along with that you see and you get all these controls and stuff which you can drop down and it's it's a core midi as well so you can plug it into your keyboard and it's polyphonic and you have loads and loads of presets now you'll see that some of these presets down here We'll have um, to find them. Well, see, we'll have audio in in brackets. That's they can be used as effects. Of course, you can alter everything. You've just seen all the controls. But uh, I'm going to just run through some of the effects. It's kind of it kind of synthesizes like it's something to do with springs and things like that. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. It sounds great. But if it says audio in in little brackets, that means you can use it as an, an effect either in audio bus or flex slot when they fix the little bug thing. It's all to do with iOS eight. On, and uh, but it does work with um, interapp, which I'll show you. And so we yeah, we just play with some of these, some of these presets. You see, you can export it, you can update the info, you can play, you can test. And it gives you a little bit of what's going on there. If we just press play. We can go to the uh, controls here, the keyboard. Now you have hold. That will just hold. You have freeze. Not sure what that does. Um, and you have a panic. And then there's a little uh, minus and a plus here, which are your octaves. Well, like I said, don't forget. And then this one here is your your spring controls, your main spring controls, and you press different things here to activate different screens for your your controls. If and then you have your sort of preset selector here as well. It does have some fab sounds. Scrolling through a few of them here. Like I said, it, you can play it with your MIDI keyboard properly if you wanted to. Very expressive. Anyway, so this is how I've got this set up. I couldn't get it to work inside uh, Audio Bus, but it is at the moment working inside Interapp Audio inside Cubasis, and it's um, you can hit, because I've got it uh, actually playing. If we skip on over to Alchemy, which is we'll cancel that, cancel. 
I just want to, oh my God, I've hit the wrong button. Right, there we go. So Alchemy should now theoretically be playing uh, 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 Spring Sound. Yes, it's so. Great. Now what we'll do is, let me see. I've got it set up as an effect. So let me just go back on over to Spring Sound. And I'll choose a, this time I'll choose an effects preset. Where are we here? Something that says, um, there we go, audio in. So we'll choose, um, let's see, spring filter three. Okay. And we'll just put that onto play. Now, the t this is the problem here. This is an <coughs> another bug. You can see there is no inter-app audio transport so uh, obviously there's some sort of bug that needs to be sorted out uh with with uh, spring sound but you know it's not expensive and it, it is a lot of presets and there's a lot of control and i actually quite like this and uh right so that's an effect so it's audio in you see it says audio in there so let's go back to um i'll be now now hopefully there you go it's back to with the mosaic guitar preset but been filtered by spring sound and I can change the, if I change that we should get something completely different right so let's change the preset here now this is uh, bow yeah this is now iPad is now running on iOS 8 um, so this is the kind of thing you're getting so let's see audio distro audio kill marimba audio no idea what these are going to sound like so we'll just um, play and we'll just keep having a blast and see what the difference is what's it going to arrange I don't know what that is. <laughs> Got a clue. Um, I want to change the effect, see what happens. Let's see. So, neutral filter. Play. That's okay, so we shouldn't shouldn't get it shouldn't hear much until we start playing alchemy. Come on. Yeah, so you can get some neat sounds. Of course, you know you like are gonna have to play play around. So we have different ones here, let's see. This is one of the ordinary presets. I just wanted to prove that it did work in interap audio. Now, I'm not sure what these uh, bouncing balls have done doing, but you can alter them and this is when it first kicks off there's a there's a settings thing here configure so you can configure and it says you can you can set your polyphony the copper balls i don't know what that means but let's let's just add two and see what happens because you can only add two control channels 11 midi one octave surface yeah okay that's fine background audio continuum mode that if you've got a, a continuum gun and you can use after touch as well obviously because it's continuum support that and you can import presets there's nothing there at the moment so i don't know so let's go back. So we've got these copper balls now. I don't really know what these these do, but we'll see. They probably have some sort of gravity interaction thing. So let's try another couple of these um, things. Like I said, I'm not sure. Not sure what they're gonna sound like. And then uh, that's okay. Right, so Yeah, 
So there you go guys, there's Spring Sand, uh, if you like the video press like, subscribe to the channel, uh, visit us at the website sandhistrium.com. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later.